Yeah, this is by far the most exciting project to me that I've been working on for a while. This is a 3D printed glove made from the flexible filament. So let me show you how I made this. To make the mold I will use flour, cooking oil, salt and warm water. Mix everything together to a firm dough. Use a moisturizer to avoid dough sticking on your skin and see if the mixture keeps its shape. If it's too dry you can add oil or if it keeps collapsing you might want to add more flour. Make three of these buns and merge it all together inside a bucket. Make sure you have room to spare once your hand goes in. Press down as hard as you can to remove air from the mold. Grab your plaster and mix it up. Knock the sides of the bucket to remove any unwanted air bubbles. 20 minutes later. Attempt number two, I added more flour to the mix and covered my hands in it as well. I also added more water to the plaster. This made it more runny as I was concerned the lack of water was the main problem in the previous attempt. Much better. After polishing the surface I was confident it had enough details to be scanned. Now our mold is ready, so let's continue to the next step. By rotating around the object and snapping a photo every 15 degrees at three different angles, we will be able to use a software that will generate our hand into a perfect 3D model. Alright, let's get started. I will go through this quickly, but if you would like to have a step-by-step -step tutorial, comment down below and I will make one. However, I do want to show you the process because I think this could be very useful for a lot of you. So here we go. Let's open up Autodesk Remake. You want to begin by importing the photos and make sure you select them all. Remake will now begin to display all the photos. Click create model and give it a name and click start. Uh, you can see your project down here and it will begin to upload. That could take up to an hour so see you again in a second. Now let's open it up. So the first thing we want to do is set the scale. So I'm going to choose two points, one on the opposite side as well, that I know is 102 millimeters. Uh, we can then use the slicing tool to um, remove the bottom part. To make it easier to print, I want to reduce the aggressive angle, so I'm going to angle it slightly back and use the extruding tool on the bottom so we will have it flush to the um, to the bed. Uh, that looks about right. There we go. And that's about it. Now I want to reduce the amount of triangles. That will just make it easier for the, uh, for the uh, slicing software to process. So as you can see we significantly reduce the amount of triangles and now it's uh, basically ready to be exported. 
Let's head over to Simplify 3D, import our model. That looks very good indeed. Now the main settings I'm gonna change is the printing speed is gonna go all the way down to 25 millimeters a second. We are not gonna use any infill. Uh, we are gonna increase the extrusion multiplier slightly and uh, we are not gonna need any bottom layers and we probably do need uh, yeah we probably do need some support material let's increase the temperature slightly and that's about it now let's see how long time that takes 11 hours uh, we can go ahead and remove some of those support structures because we do not need those ones and we do not need that one and we can actually go ahead and remove some of these because I don't think yeah we don't need all of those Yeah, that's probably good enough now prepare to print 9 hours and 19 minutes the glove has to be flexible but it still has to be rigid enough for it to print so hopefully two parameters will be enough I'm not really sure nevertheless I quickly made three Wolverine claws and printed those using PLA. Here is the material I am working with. It's very flexible and ridiculously strong. Not even with these guns I am able to rip this apart. It is just way strong and even the layer adhesion is extremely good as well. Is it comfortable? It's not uncomfortable, but it is not as soft as I thought it would be initially. However, the potential this has to become something very, very useful is, uh, is super interesting. And who knows, maybe one day we will all walk around with artificial hands, like the guy from Treasure Planet. No, but really, I could see this being used as a tool in something like a garden, where you have scoops on each fingertip to better dig up the dirt, or install a knife to have it cut off things, 
or even a set of tools on each fingertip. You know, please comment down below if you have any ideas and I will make a follow-up video featuring your best ideas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Bye.